Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody, welcome to another review. In today's video, the 2024 BMW i4. This particular model is a Grand Coupe and it is a E-Drive 35 uh, model. Big thanks to Tomic and company BMW of Croatia for making this video possible. I will put all their info in the description below. Welcome back everybody, like I said in the very beginning, in today's review I will go through all exterior and interior details, we check the practicality test of a 2024 BMW i4 Grand Coupe. This model is a E-Drive 35 model, uh, there is also a more powerful and with a larger battery uh, capacity 40 model. Uh, this particular model comes with a 67 kilowatt, kilowatt hour uh, battery pack, estimated range is anywhere from uh, 400 kilometers to 480 kilometers. This model is finished in rather nice uh, white metallic paint and we'll start this exterior walk around with a front end design and detail. Now, just a quick overview. We are expecting uh, some uh, minor uh, design changes or facelift of a BMW uh, 4 series, but uh, this, uh, this model is still uh, very much uh, ongoing and it's actually 2024 production year so if you are planning to buy uh, your uh, bmw 4 series or in this case uh, i4 this is the model uh, that you will probably uh, looking for now let's start this uh, exterior walk around like i said with a front end uh, design and details uh, you will see later in the video at the very end i will put the lights on these are of course in a uh, full led technology low beam high beam and of course uh, turn signals with a daytime running lights this particular model is in M Sport pack, so you have some type of different uh, bumper design with uh, sporty contrasting uh, black details and front parking sensors. Moving in the center bit, this is the main difference between uh, BMW um, electric models and uh, non-electric uh, models. You have around the BMW logo this uh, blue detail, very nice and very uh, cool to look at especially with this grill design you also get that uh, light blue detail on a driver's side there is a small eye badge indicating that this is fully electric model moving quickly on a passenger side profile there is a nice small M badge and in the lowest part this uh, very cool detail looking like a uh, hockey stick on this model we have 18 inch alloy wheels two-tone in design and if you ask me this is actually the perfect size for this particular model i wouldn't go any larger with uh, this bmw i4 some type of nice contrasting uh, black detail in the lowest part of a side mirror and we have tinted rear windows always handy always nice and premium solution especially now in the summer months on a roof there is a shark antenna and on a passenger side there is a charging port which you can see you can charge it as a AC or a DC of course. Uh, these door handles is something very similar now that we saw firstly on this uh, 4 series then on a new 5 series and 7 series and so on. This is now the main difference between uh, this Grand Coupe uh, model and the standard uh, 4 series or even the uh, BMW 3 series because this is a, a little bit more practical than the standard 4 series but also it's a little bit more sporty in design with this uh, sloping roofline than the uh, standard maybe uh, 3 series. Now moving quickly at the rear end LED Daylights, of course, in full LED technology. Like I said earlier, I will put the car or actually lights on at the very end so you will see it in action. In the center, again, big BMW logo with that uh, bluish, very nice uh, detail indicates this is a fully electric model with a, a rear camera. On a driver's side, there is a i4 detail. In the lowest part, there are some useful rear parking sensors and some type of diffuser. Moving quickly on a driver's side profile, everything is of course absolutely the same as the passenger side. Only difference is that the charging port is on a passenger side. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this exterior design of a BMW i4 Grand Coupe. Would you maybe change something? Would you maybe go for another exterior color? Personally, this Alpan Weiss Metallic, which is called this exterior paint, looks absolutely stunning for me. 
So now let's check the practicality test of this BMW i4 Grand Coupe. Underneath the BMW logo, there is a button which you press it and the boot opens automatically. As you can see from the very beginning, this is actually a hatchback. So it's a very practical uh, boot space and boot space opening. Around 470 liters of boot space is the official number. Couple of useful details and features of this uh, boot space. Some hooks here in the back and in the front i can see that you can fold down the rear seats individually extra storage on a driver's side and on a passenger's side nice and premium detail led lights on each side underneath this floor there is extra storage for your uh, charging cable overall very nice and useful uh, shape there is also this uh, plastic protective part if you need to slide some heavier items and you don't get damaged your uh, Alpan Weiss metallic exterior paint in this occasion. Very uh, good and usable space and boot for an average family, I would say. Now let's close this boot again electronically. And now we will check the rear seat's practicality. So opening the rear uh, door of a BMW i4 Grand Coupe, you can now clearly see the main difference between this Grand Coupe model and the standard BMW 3 Series. If you want to check my full review of a BMW 3 Series, I will put the link in the description below. And that is that you have this uh, frameless uh, windows which looks really nice and sporty. We will talk a little bit more about the materials and design when I go and check on a passenger front seat but just quick practicality test extra storage here in the middle part with a very large uh, useful storage in the lowest part. All of details on this interior black roof lining being a sporty and sport model. I put this seat on let's say my ideal drying position so we'll see later how much knee and leg room I do have. These are very nice uh, sporty M uh, seats with a uh, center part finished in some type of microfiber Alcantara. There are some useful uh, features like isofix anchor points on each side and the nice detail are these uh, nice and dark blue stitching. Also there is a center armrest finished in leather with a two cup holders in the so welcome from a rear seat of a bmw i4 grand coupe this is the door opening angle this is my knee room and my foot room also for my head i have a couple of centimeters to spare two led lights in the back i forgot to mention these seats are actually standard m sport seats uh, you can of course upgrade it to uh, fully leather seats if you like but personally i think this is uh, actually the best option at least in my opinion behind the driver's seat there is some use there are some useful nets also behind the uh, passenger seat if you have some type of papers or tablet you can easily put it there also two air vents and you can set your own uh, climate control with USB-C to actually USB-C charging ports. This is now the view in the front and now we'll check the passenger front seat. One interesting and premium detail, you have LED light underneath the door handle. I will open the door now. As you can see, pretty wide opening angle. We will now talk a little bit about materials and design. Everything is nice finishing this uh, leather in the center part and very soft uh, plastic uh, plastic at the very top some type of aluminum effect detail on the upper section and a really cool and interesting design of this handle also a huge amount of uh, door pockets in a lowest part and nice and sporty detail and badge on a side profile quick interior look of this uh, bmw i4 grand coupe as you can see over there we have ambient lighting in this model with a nice bluish details these are the front seats very nice and sporty seats with a cool m detail over here i think also you can easily extend this lowest part for a longer journey and being a premium product you have nice and soft floor mats welcome now from a passenger front seat just take a look how everything soft and nice looks on this upper dash some type of uh, soft uh, rubbery material in the center part uh, it looks like li like aluminum but it's not actually but it's very cool and nice in design especially that everything goes in this uh, center part let's open just quickly the glove box 
slow opening with LED light and this is some type of fabric material in it, a very nice and premium touch. In the center we'll talk a little bit more about this huge center infotainment uh, system. We have uh, two air vents, some useful shortcuts in the lowest part. Let's open this over here. We have two cup holders with a USB charging options and you can see over here you can charge your phone in this front section. This is now the new gear selector from a BMW. We saw this firstly a first time I think with a facelift of a 3 series and there is no more stick now you have this some type of uh, small uh, lever which you can now operate it also there is a new uh, center infotainment system but the best thing is that you still have this rotary over here famously no BMW i drive a uh, nice and cool and interesting detail I would say is that uh, this start stop button is with this electric version is finished in blue not in uh, some type of sporty uh, red electronic operator parking brake and huge uh, center armrests which you can of course open it there is extra USB-C charging port with some type of light and huge amount of storage. Welcome now from a driver's seat of a BMW i4 Grand Coupe. Now you can see the uh, digital uh, dials or digital screen in front of me and the new uh, center infotainment system. This is I think 12.3 inch in diameter. Let's talk a little bit uh, first now with, uh, about this uh, center infotainment system. This is now very uh, well known uh, with the BMW group. Uh, we saw this with my uh, X5 review, uh, 3 series and so on. We'll go to just uh, quickly to check these, uh, this uh, screen. Now in the lowest part there are some useful shortcuts. The best thing is that this is a little bit uh, curved towards the driver and it's huge in size so it's uh, I would say very easy to operate. Also you have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay which is probably the most important thing for uh, most buyers some useful shortcuts you have home button uh, over here and this comes with a navigation system here we are in the center of Zagreb some these four dots mean that you can operate and check all your apps and of course navigation with some media and here you control all your climate control functions. Of course, you now control your uh, climate on this uh, touch screen, but the best thing is, that, or actually the good thing is, that it's always in this uh, lowest part. Overall, I will not go through all uh, details on this uh, infotainment system, just for you, so you can see it in action and how everything uh, feels and looks. Of course, um, same or uh, rather, uh, very similar uh, digital dials in front of us, very nice in, gra in graphics and very uh, sharp in design. On a far left there are some useful shortcuts for the headlights control and now maybe you can see this bluish ambient lighting. Just a word or two about this uh, steering wheel design. This is now classic BMW M Sport steering wheel, three spoke, nice, uh, uh, nice leather and the best thing is probably that you have all these buttons on a left side and on a right side are physical buttons so I don't think there will be any issues to use it. Some manufacturers have um, touch uh, touch screens or touch pads on a uh, steering wheels and it's not actually the best uh, solution. This is now the overall design of a steering wheel. Personally I like it a lot with this nice and small airbag in the center and uh, like I said earlier very cool detail is this uh, bluish uh, part around the BMW logo. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this uh, interior design of a BMW i4 Grand Coupe. Of course it's very much similar like in the standard uh, BMW 4 series or even the BMW 3 series but I'm a personally huge fan of this overall interior design and of course uh, materials are absolutely phenomenal and this huge 12.3 uh, inch uh, screen is actually very nice to look at. For the very end I will put the lights on or the hazard lights on so you can see those in so action. Now the tail lights in action with LED turn signals. We'll just quickly go and check in the front. LEDs on a side mirrors and of course LEDs in the front. So this is the end of my uh, exterior and interior walk around and practicality test of a BMW i4 Grand Coupe. This particular model uh, is actually finished in Alpine Weiss uh, metallic exterior 
uh, this is a 30 e drive 35 model there is also a more powerful uh, 40 uh, version big thanks to Tomic and company bmw of croatia for making this video possible i will put all their info in the description below and thank you so much for watching this video wish you all a very nice day